What's going on, YouTube, and all my fellow cryptocurrency holders, especially you Deutsche Corn holders out there? If this is your first time tuning in, please consider subscribing to my channel, smashing that like button, and don't forget to share this with somebody. We need to get the word out about all cryptocurrency. Hey, we got other people talking smack about it. The slow but inevitable death of Deutsche Coin. <laughs> it's this guy right here. Who wrote this one? The Asian Investor. <laughs> you hear this guy right here? Written by the Asian Investor. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to. Let me see what this guy. <laughs> Deutsche Coin hit a high of 74 cents before Elon Musk highly anticipated SNL performance last month. The market value of Deutsche Coin has, hey, has half since the beginning of May. Stage four of a bubble signals impending doom dogecoin likely has seen its peak and the price of this mean critical turn which continue to slide until the market valuation eventually drops to zero <laughs> man that's wild bro dogecoin has no practical use really man all this silver i got here all these collectibles things right here all that crap i bought with dogecoin yeah believe it or not all this this gold right here that was bought with Dogecoin. What the hell you mean and they got no value? You have, man, the Asian investor. That's a fucking crock of shit. Dogecoin was created as a joke by two developers in 2013. Has been on a breathtaking tear this year, raising more than 12,000% at some point. Eh, you know, I can, I can, I've been part of it. I've seen it. Why do you think I got all this? Man, this guy needs to stop. Dogecoin market valuation peaked at almost a hundred billion. It's not, I mean, come on, how are you gonna say it's gonna go to zero when it hit $90 billion, you jackass? Just before this show on Dogecoin's price surged to an all time high of 74.08. Actually, the all time high was 74.48, almost reaching the $1 price target of the cryptocurrency that was frantically tutored on the social media. Well, I mean, come on, they can't expect it to run straight up. Like, these guys are supposed to be like, these are the ones that are writing out these reports on these damn, like, they, they, they what do they think? It's just going to continue to go straight up in a straight line? What the fuck? Uh, it's crazy. Everybody knows it doesn't go up. It goes up, and then it comes down, and then it goes right back up like a motherfucker. Like all meme stocks or meme cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin is a hype, and a hype must die down after the easy money has been made. After a 12,000 return, this seems to be the case. I don't think so. Look at look at I me. Mean, look at GameStop. GameStop's still at trading at two hundred forty dollars, two hundred fifty dollars. I mean, obviously, um, valuation doesn't matter like it used to no more. I mean, um, we don't really care about valuation no more. I, I mean, we're at a point where there's so much money everywhere. Who the hell is gonna care about valuation? Just grab an asset and strap in, baby. I mean, pff, if anything showed anybody in the past couple years, if you've been investing since before the the Rony Rona happened. Or even during the middle of yeah, because if you got in before the Rony Rono, man, you felt some pain. I know I was hurt, and I was like, ah, don't do it. But like, if you got in after the middle of the Rony Rono, after the market crash, like you're good. Like these guys are idiots right here. Like these are straight up baby boomers right here. Baby boomer mentality. That's what that is. Like, man, it's gonna crash again. It's gonna crash again. You know what? I've been telling, saying that shit about the housing market. And it has it. It ran up. Like, man, oh, got him. It, it keeps running up. Like, man, I'm like, damn, I should have bought a house like six months ago on the wife's head. But, uh, I mean, I'm making more money doing this right here than I am with a house. So I can wait. You know, I'm still hopeful that the housing market will correct about 20%. You know, maybe 10%. But, man, I, don't, I might be wrong. <laughs> I think, you know, <laughs> seeing some of these house prices is wild, man. It's cool, though. It's cool, though. Like, at the end of the day, you got to remember, you can play tomorrow. You got we could play next week, okay? You might have lost this week. Like, we don't even need to play every day. You know how many times I don't play? Find another hobby. You know what I mean? Collect some stuff. You know You know what I mean with that? Do some stuff. You know what I mean? You got so much time on your guys' hand, especially most people are just chilling at home. Learn a new strategy. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're vet, I mean, it's like running a business. You're not going to go run a business without a business strategy, right? <laughs> that's what you need you need an investment strategy like i'm tired of hearing the people out there like you can't even go in a form and talk about oh yeah bro i took profits you know you know how many people don't like the fact that i took ten thousand dollars at dogecoin and went and put it in amc and blew that shit up and took the money and put it right back at dogecoin what do you mean? Like, well, what, what you mean? I took out almost ten thousand dollars of Deutsch, and then I came back and bought. Now I could buy, you know, I could buy a lot more Deutsch coin if I want right now. You know, I got my my buying power is ridiculous right now. It's just it's looking right. But I'm not gonna buy it at all time highs. I need discount. Everybody needs to understand that we don't buy on the rip. You buy on the dip, sell on the rip. 
or you know you can't you got a snack we need to take profits you know what i mean how are you gonna build you take some snacks and you put it right back in another asset you take some snacks put it back in this asset you know what i mean you gotta move your money around but not a whole lot like with assets like amc and dogecoin like it's so volatile that there's so much money to be made on these swings like look at we were at 90 billion dollar market cap and we came all the way down to 30 billion yeah that's a pretty big fluctuation there and we're back at 50 so there was 20 billion dollars you could have jumped in on basically yeah and the end of the day there's 20 billion dollars that if you would have grabbed then during the last dip even if you would have put five bucks ten bucks what the hell that makes, I mean, people need to think about it like that. And stop caring what other people say. Hey, they ain't paying your, hey, unless they ain't paying your bills, then, then all right, that's a different story. But if that motherfucker ain't paying your rent, if he ain't paying your electricity bill, if he ain't filling your car gas up, then you tell that motherfucker to shut the hell up and mind his damn business. Because, you know, everybody keeps saying Dogecoin's going to the moon, but you know what? It's already at the moon. Yeah, okay. We were, we're already at the moon. I mean... This thing came from nothing. Like, if you look back, it was literally started at nothing. Fractions of a penny. Fractions of a penny. Now look at it. Look where it's at. So, I mean, if you still think we're not on the moon, I don't know where you're at. But I think, you know, the next stop for this thing is Mars. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm out of here. Don't forget to come follow me on Twitter so you can have your chance to win. Not the gold, but you win the silver. Yeah. I'm out of here.